lost in thought. Someone there? I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Assume nothing. What to do? I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Lorcan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least, I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. Belfry, bell ringers only past this point. Infirmary, justice endures even in suffering. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect, or some more cunning. What ails you? Marsh fever? Featherlung? Be quick, I've not got all day. You'd interrupt me for something like that? Just rub a bit of aloe on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a dead high priest to see to. Father Lorgan, you've not heard? One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Lorgan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Look, Investigator, Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. 
You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brill Gore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um... I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. I wouldn't go that far. But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgore. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgore, the politically convenient target. Brilgore was a refugee. No one sticks up for them at the best of times, and with Gortash in power, well, I expect the Flaming Fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Charessa's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder-suicide angle, really. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Not for us to decide who deserves Ilmater's grace. Why not? We are his adherents. Who would know if not us? To claim to know the Lord's will is blasphemy. We interpret scripture and teachings. We know nothing. Let 
More outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Passing? He was murdered by one of the fugitives he was harboring. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive ill natured grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Thank you, stranger. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. I. I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. See. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering.
priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Temple worship suspended until further notice. The faithful endure. This one yours. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! Can we not find a more pleasant amusement? Gouging out our own eyeballs, perhaps? Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? the stuff in kicked out of him Wahey! oh you're all such good friends I've had a wonderful time but I have to go oh, oh well if you insist <gasps> how about a magic trick but first I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. You notice the clown reaching for something behind his back. Tell me, what makes you special? <laughs> no, 
No, it's not that silly head of yours. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus, in all of Baldur's Gate. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the Absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. I shall investigate. I'm heating up. Where do I go from here? Light on my feet. We didn't murder the actual clown. Could Madame Lucretius let this happen? And what are you doing here? Out! How could this happen? To Dribbles? To my home? Can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. Oh. 
Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. You look a little shell-shocked. Worry not, it's nothing a little music can't fix. Please, uh, uh, enjoy the circus. Which will never be the same without dribbles. Ah, scummy ball bag, move! My gods to cling! Violence erupts here. My home. My refuge in this city of stone and steel. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. <laughs> 